Welcome back to the Streaming Media Producer, Streaming Media East 2013 Red Carpet Interviews. We've got a great representative here from High Vision, and I'd like a chance to tell a little bit about himself, and then we'll start into what High Vision's doing. So my name is Chance Mason. I'm the Executive Vice President of Internet Media for High Vision. Um, I joined High Vision after being in the industry for 12 years to expand the ecosystem of the product offering that we have at High Vision. So what is High Vision doing these days? Yeah. High Vision uh, has been around for almost 10 years uh, and has over 20,000 encoders installed in the mm. field managing uh, low latency, uh, high quality video distribution for enterprises, house of worship, medical institutions, etc. Okay. And you recently came out with a new version of the Makito product line, if I remember correctly, the X2? Yep, the X2 basically allows us to give twice the density uh, for half the bandwidth. Mm, okay, and so again, good. it just continues to progress our codec. So what are, uh, you mentioned several market verticals, houses of worship, medical and like that. What would be kind of the core product line that would go into, say, a medical um, installation? Yeah, so the medical institutions leverage our uh, encoders for distribution, right? So mm -hmm. uh, to give you an example of a, a medical, there may be a, a surgery, an OR room that actually wants to take that content and broadcast it inside the firewall as well as outside the firewall to individuals to watch that content. So they'll leverage our encoders for that. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I've heard mention of is a, um, a partnership or a solution alliance with Akamai. Can you talk a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we work uh, very closely with Akamai. A lot of our encoders that are deployed, over 20,000 in the field, primarily focus on live events mm. and the creation of live content. So we needed a CDN that understood uh, the value of live content and the importance of live content and that had the ingress points throughout the world to where we could uh, you know, quickly enable our customers to broadcast their content outside the firewall uh, with a reliable CDN. So we have a great relationship with Akamai. So it's points of presence, uh, Akamai points of presence, they can do ingest at those points as well as obviously loading onto the core network. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yep. What are you showing on the show floor here at Stringer Media East? Well, we're showing a, a broad range of our product lines. So we're showing uh, our High Vision Video Cloud solution, which mm -hmm. we rolled out at NAB this year, okay. uh, which is essentially taking High Vision from a behind the firewall company to an outside the firewall company. Uh, so we're showing the product line of our VCMS, which is our video content management system, uh, many times categorized as an OVP. We're showing our site builder, which is a, a content management system that allows people to easily deploy uh, rich media video portals. Uh, and then we're also showcasing uh, our Viper, which is one mm -hmm. of our uh, most popular encoding technology. And if I remember correctly, the Viper is the one that has the um, multiple inputs, but also has some of the video furnace it does. Software. Yeah, it's basically taking the best of breed that we've developed for the different uh, encoders that we have in the field and putting it in a single appliance. So it has video furnace, uh, it has the Makito, uh, et cetera, all in okay. one box. So it's definitely a, a very valuable encoder for the field. Interesting. So you mentioned transcoding mm -hmm. um, and one of, as one of the things you're talking about. Tell me a little bit about that. Are you a hardware-based transcoder or a software-based transcoder? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're a software-based transcoder. So a year ago we launched uh, what we called HyperStream Live, mm -hmm. which was essentially, we believe we were a little early to the market. So we launched a pay-as-you-go solution that allowed people to test the solution. Um, and uh, we used the core fundamentals and the core technology that we developed with Coolabyte mm. and launched that as a software solution for transcoding. Uh, so we, uh, again, we were first to market with a live transcoder. We have three flavors of the live transcoder. One, pay as you go. Two, manage services, where High Vision will actually deploy the transcoders for you and manage them on your behalf. And three, actually license the software and spin it up in your own environment, which is very attractive to teleports or any uh, organizations that are aggregating content or you know, uh, bringing content into a central location. Interesting. Yeah. Anything else you want the audience who's going to be watching this to know? Yeah, I think that uh, High Vision's been perceived as a behind the firewall encoding company. I think if you have the opportunity, visit uh, www.highvision.com. Look at the High Vision Video Cloud and what we've recently deployed with our live transcoding solutions, uh, which we were first to market with. It's got over a year of uh, tried and true testing. Um, and some of the biggest brands in the market leverage our live transcoding engine. And then also take a look at our VCMS, which allows you to ingest your assets, file-based transcoding, asset management, but a very flexible flexible workflow associated with it as well. It's not a typical OVP that's very tutorial with a one, two, three, four step. It mm -hmm. actually gives you the ability to create uh, an enterprise workflow inside the VCMS. Nice. Chance, thank you for being with us today. Um, those of you who are watching this on streamingmedia.com, 
you'll actually find a brief write-up of the interview as well.